Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video, which is going to be all about this new, this new very exciting bronzer from Armani. So if you're interested in how this looks on the skin, all of my thoughts on it, as well as comparison swatches to some other new and popular bronzers then keep watching okay so this is the brand new giorgio armani luminous silk sunlit creamy bronzer this bronzer is available in four shades and it will set you back 46 pounds for a whopping 18 grams wowie described by the brand as an ultra creamy bronzing powder that creates an instant mediterranean glow that will make you look like you're just back from the italian coast all year long its smooth powder technology is designed with skin gliding oils for incomparable silky feel addictive from the first touch. Blends seamlessly to deliver ultra thin and even coverage thanks to micronized pigments. The powder instantly adheres to skin and provides wear and comfort. Available in four shimmery shades inspired by tan summer hues. And here is that all important ingredients list for those of you with sensitivities to have a check and make sure that there's nothing on there that might argue with your skin. So first up, this packaging is glorious. I haven't been as much of a fan of Armani Beauty packaging, especially with their more recent releases, but this is beautiful it feels nice and weighty and looks very luxurious it's got a very easy clean easy to open component with a really nice large mirror that stays upright when you open it and let's talk about that fill size 18 grams of product is very generous and it does have a two-year shelf life i mean if you're going to give us a lot of product we need a long enough shelf life to actually use it so i really appreciate that i will say as i'm filming this you can get this bronzer for 20% off at Boots. I don't know if that will still be the case when this video goes up, but worth checking anyway. So to give you some idea of the amount of product in here, the YSL All Hours bronzer contains seven and a half grams of product. That's kind of a more standard amount. The Dior has nine grams, the Gucci has 12, the Charlotte Tilbury has 16 grams, and the Hermes is the same amount at 18 grams, but a much smaller component so Hermes basically decided to go with a sort of deeper fill and Armani have gone with a wider fill kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury they've spread the bronzer more thinly now I'm a big fan of a large fill size on when it comes to bronzers highlighters no pointless blushes ridiculous but with bronzers it actually makes sense to me because I use a lot of bronzer and I use it every time I do my makeup and as you can see I have hit pan quite a, a decent whack of pan in a 16 gram bronzer before and that's you know me being a content creator using a lot and having a large collection so large fill size on bronzers i actually appreciate i'm all right with it so i went with the shade number 100 which is the second of four looking at the swatches and then looking at the product in the pan it was kind of hard to tell from the photos but i thought that sh the second shade shade 100 looked like the most neutral out of the first two and it just looked like it the other two would be too deep for me and usually the first bronzer in a range is too light for me so I went with the second shade shade 100 and it's exactly what I was hoping for so this does have a more luminous glowy finish they've used the word shimmery in the description which mm, I feel like a lot of people get afraid of that because it conjures up you know glittery thoughts and glittery feelings which for most people I think in a bronzer would be a little alarming but I think the finish of this bronzer is glorious and more so luminous and glowy than shimmery but let's take a look at it in action and you guys can decide if this is too glowy too shimmery for you or exactly what you've been looking for like me let's dive into the demo okay let's get this hair out of the way. Boop. So I'm going to use my Sonia G Face Pro. This is pretty much my favorite bronzer brush at the moment. I'm gonna start off with just one sort of good old tap in there and see 
whether we need to build this up or use a light hand. So I've got my Charlotte Tilbury foundation on today and it's not been set. So I like to start off with like pushing product into the skin until there's a bit of powder down as that sometimes when you buff straight onto unset foundation it can move it about a bit especially if you have a heavy hand like I definitely do so I like to start off like pushing the product into the skin just to lay some powder down and effectively set the foundation in that area and then you can start buffing and doing whatever you like By the way, up here by my hairline is the remnants of a mistake that was made with Charlotte Tilbury tanning drops. <laughs> so don't worry about that. What I would advise is don't put the deep one really close to your hairline <laughs> like this, okay? So pretend that didn't happen and that's nothing to do with the bronzer. It's still, we're on a learning curve with those, okay? Okay, so first sort of light application with this. I'm happy with the shade. I think this is the right choice. I feel like it's got some warmth to it, but it's definitely leans a bit more neutral than your typical bronzer, which I really like. You know, obviously bronzers are supposed to be warm toned. You know, they're supposed to warm up the skin, contour and bronzer two different things but like many of us I do prefer a not very very warm bronzer because my skin tone like when I tan in the sun I don't go very very warm tone I have an olive undertone and when I tan I tend to go you know a sort of reddish olive so that sort of really warm bronzer just doesn't mimic a natural bronze to me or a natural tan this is very natural undertone. There's really no visible shimmer or glitter on the skin. It really just, as I'm buffing it in, it's taking on a more sort of subtle satin finish, I would say. I'm just building this up. I do want to see how it builds, even though I don't necessarily need to build on my skin tone. I mean, these definitely have a fair bit of buildability to them. I'm loving the tone of this bronzer. Absolutely beautiful, very natural, very much mimicking like what my skin tone does in summer. And as I've built that up, I'm noticing a bit more luminosity, which is beautiful. So bronzer, no bronzer. I am applying this heavily today just because I do want to build up so you guys can see how this might work on your skin tone if you're a bit deeper than me. This would definitely work, you know, deeper than me. Today I've used Charlotte Tilbury's shade 7N, I think, in her beautiful skin foundation. And this, you know, was absolutely like, this is kind of what I would do with this bronzer typically. And that's a really nice, light, natural bit of bronze. But you can see how much on this side building up, they're very buildable. So bear that in mind that the shades are gonna be a bit more flexible maybe. Of, you know, you can get a really nice natural bronze, a much heavier bronze with a bit of building. It's built very nicely actually. So, you know, a light natural layer and a heavier built up bronze just to see what these can do. The finish is stunning, exactly what I look for in a bronzer. I really like, not a shimmery bronzer because I do like a glowy bit of highlight. I like glowier blushes and I typically use glowier, more luminous foundations. So I don't really want, you know, a shimmery, highlighty bronzer, but I do like a more natural skin-like finish. I don't really like anything that's super matte. So this is beautiful. There is no shimmer or glitter that I can see on the skin. But it's got so much life and just skin-like quality to it. You know, it doesn't look matte. It looks very much like a satin, a luminous satin is how I would describe this. I'm gonna build this side up so that we match and then I'm going to buff everything together to 
get a more natural look for my skin tone. This is what you can do if you just accidentally go a bit heavy handed with products. Just go in with a really great buffing brush. This is the Sonia G one and buff everything out a bit. Tones everything down beautifully. I mean, this is definitely going to be challenging the YSL bronzer for my favorite new bronzer, for sure. I'm going to do some comparison swatches in a second so we can see where the undertone and the depth of this shade sits. But this is gorgeous. Oh, I really like it. I'm actually excited about this. I think it's beautiful. I really love the undertone. I love the finish. I feel like I've got so much life to my face now. It is not adding texture at all. In fact, I feel like it's got a bit of a smoothing property to it. I didn't notice any fragrance while I was applying, which is really highly unusual for a higher end luxury cheek product. I can't smell anything. There's maybe a faint, the faintest hint of something, but I'm really not picking up much at all. Definitely not a perfume smell at all. We love that for us. Okay, I'm just gonna finish off with a bit of blush over the top. I'm gonna to use the Hope blush from the new Rare Beauty collection and just see how this works on top of that bronzer. Give us a bit of color to the cheeks, a bit more of a glow, because this is very much a highlighting blush. Yep, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I think it looks so pretty. The finished makeup for today. Okay, so now I'm gonna have a little comparison swatch session with some similar bronzers. I have the Gucci shade two. I've got the YSL bronzer in the shade two also, I think, yes. Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade tan. I've got my Dior bronzer in the shade four. I have one of the Hermes bronzers in the shade Sahara. So I'm gonna swatch all of these so you guys can get an idea of where this new Armani bronzer sits. Okay, so first swatching the new one from Armani. Okay, so first up we have the new Armani bronzer in the shade 100. Next to it, the YSL in the shade Buff June, kind of a similar undertone actually, but lighter. Then we have the Dior shade four, that is the permanent bronzer line, the Dior Forever Natural Bronze, shade four tan bronze. Again, a similar, more neutral bronze shade, but again, lighter. Gucci shade two, much deeper. But again, a similar sort of neutral shade then we have the charlotte tilbury tan shade that one is deeper and definitely a bit warmer more of a classic bronzer and finally we have the hermes sahara shade and again that's deeper and more of a classic warm tone so again we have the new armani shade 100 the ysl buff june shade 2 the Dior shade number four, the Gucci shade two, the Charlotte Tilbury shade tan, and the Hermes Sahara. Now of these other bronzers, the only other formula that sort of claims more of a glowy finish is the Gucci. So I just wanna show you these two close up with a bit more of a blended swatch. So you can get an idea of the finish of this Armani bronzer. Now it is strange because when you swatch it, you can see some little specks of glitter in there. If you look really closely, they're very fine, but you can see them. But as you blend and buff it onto the cheek, those sort of dissipate and you just end up with this beautiful, smooth satin bit of luminosity. Okay, so this is the new Armani. As you can see, it is quite a bit lighter than the Gucci, and the Gucci I definitely think is cooler, but the Armani still has a more sort of neutral leaning, less orange undertone than a, a typical bronzer. So we've got the Gucci and the Armani. I think you can see there that the Armani has that lovely luminosity in comparison to the Gucci. You see that? You can see that bit of a sheen there? As it catches the light. 
beautiful. Okay, so I am fully in love, all right? I don't like to say that in the first impressions. This is the first time I've used this bronzer today, but I feel like I fell in love the second it touched my face. I have said to you guys before, at this point with the number of bronzers on the market, and a lot of bronzers have been coming out in the last six months or so, and I've said to you before, in order to excite me about a bronzer at this point, because I have so many bronzers that I absolutely love, and the bronzers that have been coming out more recently have been offering us a more neutral undertone, which many of us have been looking for and has been quite hard to find, previously, but I feel like brands have actually cottoned on to the fact that a lot of us really like that more neutral undertone of a bronzer, and they've been giving us them more often. So at this point, like I've said, in order to excite me about a bronzer, I need some glow and luminosity from it, because that's the thing that we don't see very often when it comes to bronzers, and here it is. It's exactly what I've been waiting for and looking for. Not shimmery, not looking like a highlighter all over my face, but a bit of glow and luminosity to the skin. A really great fill size in a really nice component and a just the most perfect undertone. Yes, it has a bit of warmth. It's not like bronzing with a contour powder, but it does lean more neutral. It has the most beautiful finish and texture. Very, very buildable. I'll be able to use this same shade in winter and in summer. As you can tell, it was very flexible. I could use it really lightly and naturally on my winter skin tone. And I feel very confident having built it up and seen how much we can build to that I'll be able to use it beautifully in the summer as well. I just love the finish of it. I think it's beautiful to look at, but as we know, this sort of sunburst effect will not last that long. But I really appreciate the very solid, luxurious component. I really appreciate the fact that it's not really heavily perfumed, like so many other cheek products from luxury brands. I love the undertone, I find it very flattering. I find the formula really easy to work with and build and get a really seamless, natural, finish. Very, very smooth. I don't know what else I could say about it. It ticks all of my bronzing boxes. I definitely don't think you're seeing shimmer and sparkle and glitter on the cheeks. I think you're seeing once, once applied and buffed out, you're seeing a lovely bit of luminosity. It's not going to be for everybody. Lots of people prefer a more matte bronzer, but if you have been waiting for a glowy bronzer with a bit of luminosity to the cheeks and you don't want a super orange, very, very warm shade, then I feel like we've hit the jackpot. Finally, hallelujah. I just think it looks so beautiful. It's exactly what I look for when it comes to a bronzer and I'm very happy today. I've been having a lot of wins lately. Just a quick note that this bronzer will not be in my March beauty roundup because I actually filmed that yesterday as I'm preparing for my Easter holidays. So I knew I wouldn't get a chance to film that, so I filmed that yesterday. So this will not be featured in the March beauty roundup. I will feature it again in the April beauty roundup when I've been using it for a good amount of time. I'm not really sure how mega inclusive these four shades are going to end up being. I really am intrigued to see people with a deeper skin tone using that deeper shade and also people with a really fair skin tone using the lighter shade because these swatches you can never really rely on them. I really want to see the range in action on people with varying different skin tones. It looks to me like we could have done with a lighter shade at least and certainly at least one deeper shade but we'll see how people get on. I will link some deeper skin toned and fairer skin tone reviews in my description box as they come. I haven't seen anyone else using this yet, but I do feel like we could have done with at least one shade at the beginning and another at the end to really be a great range. So there you have it. Those are all of my thoughts on this new Armani bronzer. It's an absolute instant hit for me. I will keep trying it. I will update you on any further thoughts in my April beauty roundup, but we're off to an incredibly strong start. I don't think it could have got any stronger. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye.